over the years when I've met with different people, they're looking for breakthroughs in their lives. They're trying to find out how to get to the next level or to be able to accomplish the dreams or the visions that they have for themselves or even to, to live in the purpose that they believe that God created them to have. You know, in those moments of challenge or difficulty, sometimes in those places where you feel things are hopeless or helpless, the thing that we're looking for more than anything else is what we call wisdom. We need people to speak into our lives, or we need a revelation that will allow us to move forward to the things and the plans that we believe God has for us, to take us from the place where we are and launch us into the future that we know is waiting for us. But here's the question, what actually is wisdom? Well, if we unpack the Old Testament word for wisdom, we often simply can define it as to reign in life. In other words, how do we bring kingdom alignment and blessing to flow into every aspect of our lives. That's what wisdom does. You see, there are different characteristics to wisdom. For example, if you receive wisdom, it's actually there firstly to protect you. Wisdom will keep you from making choices that are not good for you. Then as a result, your life becomes preserved and, and, and the things that are happening, you can begin to journey through life knowing that you're, you're walking in the security because of the wise decisions that you've made. Another thing is that wisdom is there to prosper you. In other words, wisdom is not just simply to keep you in a life of maintenance, but it's to move you forward, to help you find that breakthrough so that you could find prosperity in every aspect, whether it's in your mind or in your heart or your soul, your emotions, or simply in your life with your family and your relationships and in the workplace financially. So many different ways where wisdom can prosper you. And finally, you can also understand that the more you receive wisdom, the more you grow in wisdom. That's the experience that you begin to attain as, as God does different things in your life, the different principles and that you begin to live by based on the wisdom that you receive. And the more wisdom you have, then the more favor it gives you because when you become someone of wisdom, people begin to listen to you and as people listen to you, you begin to grow in influence. Well, over the next few weeks and over the next few video blogs together, we're going to be looking at this question of wisdom. How do I grow in wisdom and how then do I begin to release wisdom to the environment around us? Because in a world right now which is full of turmoil and many leaders and those in authority, they really don't know what to do. The key thing right now is that they need the wisdom of God. And you can be that vehicle of wisdom. And over the next few weeks, we're going to discover how to grow in wisdom. This is Steve Twa believing that wisdom will transform your heart so that you can transform the world.